The, the big news this weekend has been Hillary Clinton sitting down for this interview with the FBI. Three and a half hours, really just uh, extraordinary. And then afterward, what we're hearing from sources telling CNN's Evan Perez is that they don't actually, they expect there's going to be an announcement of no charges here in the next uh, uh, couple weeks or so. That is based on the idea that there was no additional finding of wrongdoing or that she didn't essentially mess up during uh, this interview with uh, the FBI. Donald Trump, not surprisingly, seizing on this. He, um, he said it was just announced by sources that no charges will be brought against crooked Hillary Clinton. Like I said, the system is totally rigged. If this is truly an independent system, investigation, then why does it seem that this has predetermined the outcome? Well, I, I don't think it's been predetermined. In fact, I think they just go where the facts lead. Then maybe I have more confidence in the FBI than most. Um, but the, the fact does remain, though, and I do this all the time with my clients, and if your client has any exposure or if your client has any hint of illegality, they do not sit down with the FBI. Mm. And, and that, so I, I don't think that that's anything... I thought what yesterday was was a signal to everyone, especially Democrats, that this is imminent, that, that the conclusion of this is imminent. I heard you cite kind of whom I, there. I disagree. I mean, she's got to make this problem go away as quickly as possible. It doesn't need to drag on to the convention. What are you going to say? No, FBI, I'm not going to sit down and meet with you. Uh, Politically, maybe it wasn't, it wasn't voluntary, but if likely no charges are brought, Andre, doesn't that undercut Donald Trump's argument against her and sort of take away one of his attack lines? Oh, I think it doesn't. All this plays to honesty, integrity. Bill Clinton, as much as, you know, you kind of like the guy, the, the meeting with Loretta, it, just all of it plays into to, to the, the average voters going, wait a minute, what's going on here? Would I have gotten out of this? It, it's good old boy politics. It is better. Good old lady politics at his best. Yeah, and Hillary Clinton's in a no-win situation on this. Either she's indicted, which would be really bad for her, or she's cleared, and then everyone thinks that the system is rigged. But what I think is really interesting is that she spent more time this year be taking questions from FBI investigators, oh. but then reporters in any press, con <laughs> press conference. And that problem is not going the, away. No the year what. is young yet. She can change that. <laughs> uh, you back Bernie Sanders, Ben. Some have said He's staying in this in case something happens with this investigation. No, look, he's staying in this to make sure that the platform continues to move in the way that it should move. And right now, the fact that they've refused to put in uh, tough l language on the TPP and on trade, it, you know, is a, is, that's reason enough to stay in there. Trump is running to the left of Clinton on trade. That's a problem. He's also running to the left of her on war, and he's running to the left of her on Wall Street. Now, we've been able to push to get uh, language in the platform, for instance, for a new Glass-Steagall Act. That will help her out in the campaign trail. She's got to come towards us on as trade. A, as a Clinton supporter, I, I would echo a lot of the sentiments that, that Ben has said, and, and I would hope that over the next few weeks, with July 7th and 8th, when we have our platform committee, we can find some agreement on trade um, and, and be able to, to, to get this, because th that is what Ohio and Pennsylvania are where this election and like all likelihood are going to be won.